Hi everybody, it's Joe here again from Cork Energy Healing. Thanks very much for tuning into my channel again. Uh, something's come up there lately, I saw it in one of the newspapers about um, transgender. Excuse me, I was actually extremely shocked when I saw it that there's people being murdered just because of their sexuality and who they are and who they want to be. And it's really struck home with me, I think it's, it's horrendous that people can't live their own lives today and just be who they want to be and they have to be dictated by the masses of people that are frowned upon uh, somebody's sexuality. It just doesn't make sense to me, but look, I guess it's a sign of the times. But I'd like to try and help some of you people out there today that might be going through this transition and um, trying to figure out where you're trying to fit into in life on this planet and there's so many obstacles up against you. It just defies logic, but what I will say to you is just, just be yourselves, guys. I mean that just be yourselves you don't have to conform to society i think you know that yourselves anyway just be who you are and i'd like to do some tapping today and maybe try and unleash some of these emotional blocks that you may have like, towards your own sexuality and this transition period where you're probably finding it very difficult to express how you're feeling to those that do love you and in a lot of cases a lot of friends in that world you might be a bit apprehensive to come out and tell them how you're feeling at this particular moment in your life. Excuse me, but as I always say, look, there's hope and you get through this, just like a lot of other people have gotten through the same situation that you may be going through at this moment in your life. So just go, what I'm gonna tap on, um, and again, take full responsibility for your own well-being. You will see a shift once you start to do this and you start to express how you're feeling and accept where you are and how you're feeling at this moment. Um, again, you can give yourself a scale of zero to 10. 10 being very intense, how you're feeling about this emotion that you may be holding onto, the feelings that you're holding onto. Just give it a rating of zero to 10. 10 is very intense, zero means doesn't bother you anymore. So just go with me on this, excuse me. Um, even though I'm going through this transitional period, I deeply and completely love and accept who I am. Even though I am transgender, and there's a lot of people don't know this, and I've been struggling ever since I've been a kid, but I deeply and completely love and accept the wonderful person that I know I am. Even though I am transgender, and it's difficult for me to even say this, but the more that I say this, the more that I'll accept it, and things will start to transition in the right direction for me. And I deeply and completely love and accept the wonderful person that I am. I am transgender. I am transgender. I am transgender. I am transgender. Difficult for me to say, but I'm saying it. I am transgender. I am transgender. Take a deep breath. Just see how that felt. Again, as always, I say, just tune in. See how you're feeling in your body and in your mind. And you will definitely have noticed a shift. Why? Because we're accepting. You're accepting how you're feeling. You're offering no more resistance to this, making a stance for the first time. Not necessarily for the first time, but for the first time in a long time, you're actually accepting this now. So let's go ahead. Let's do some more tapping. Even though, and again, you might be feeling so many different mixed emotions because of how you're feeling at this moment and this transitional period. Lots of things will be coming up, I don't know. You could be feeling guilty, overwhelmed, anger towards certain people in your lives, anger towards situations in the past when you were younger. Maybe a lot of people couldn't understand where you were coming from. No, that's not to say that you have expressed it in detail yet, but just go with me on this and you know exactly what I'm talking about, all these feelings that are conjured up within yourself. But once we start to tap on these negative blocks, these emotional baggage, you will definitely start to see a difference and things will start to open up for you because we're going to create a different vibrational frequency within yourself and within your auric field and you'll start to attract a lot of positive situations into your life once we start to release these negative blocks. Even though I'm somewhat frustrated because I'm going through this transitional period, I 
deeply and completely love and accept who I am. Even though I'm fearful of what might happen when I actually do come out completely and wholeheartedly and tell people that I am transgender, I deeply and completely love and accept who I am. Even though I am transgender, deep down inside, I know I'm okay. I am transgender and I'm struggling with this at the moment. I am transgender and I'm fearful of the future and what people might think of me. I'm transgender and I'm living in fear a lot of the time. This knot in my stomach, this intensity in my stomach, this tightness, this tension and boy this stress. Deep breath. Okay, we're going to flip this, we're going to tap on positivity and who you really are. You forget about everybody else. It's what I call the art of allowing. You allow people to be who they are and what they are and don't pass judgment. So shame on people that do judge you. You're entitled to your life. And also, other people's opinions are not as important as your opinions about yourself. You're the most important person in your life. Once you realise this, you can start to live your life. Even though I am frustrated, I'm sad, I'm angry, I'm fearful, I'm worried, I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed. What people might think, I just accept who I am. I can do this. I can start to live my life from this day forward. I don't have to prove myself to anybody. I'm entitled to live my life the way I want to live it. I am unique. I am important. I do make a difference. I am courageous. I am fearless. I am who I am. And that's just fine. I am where I am at this moment in my life. And that's all that matters. This is my life's experience. And I'm willing to embrace it and be who I am, because I am, as Jer says, the most important person in my life. See how that feels. And remember again, you are the most important person in your life. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope this helped you and uh, wish you the best. God bless and thank you.